is it possible for an old dog to learn new, new tricks? I mean, that's what I'm wondering about with R.R. Donnelly & Sons, R.R.D. It's the world's number one commercial printing company. Just turned 150 this past October. Happy birthday. Now, R.R. Donnelly stock has come down more than 20% year-to-date and is currently less than two points above its 52-week low, despite its more than 6% yield. While commercial printing may be in long-term secular decline, it's also a highly fragmented market where R.R. Donnelly, the top dog, can make lots of acquisitions then immediately cut costs to boost its earnings. Meanwhile, the company also has a presence in packaging and labeling. You can see a lot of cool stuff behind me, as well as logistics, distribution, warehousing. Plus, R.R. Donnelly's done a fantastic, got a fantastic business preparing financial statements, where they're the single most trusted firm in the space. If you have a mutual fund, you know what I'm talking about. Now, after a string of disappointments, R.R. Donnelly has managed to deliver two better-than-expected quarters in a row, most recently on November. November 5th, despite the solid results, so the stock's been slammed lately because the company's fairly cyclical, meaning it's somewhat hostage to the health of the global economy, but some people say it's not in great shape, and it's got a ton of debt on the balance sheet. Still, the stock is really cheap here, and I think the massive decline in oil prices could give the world's developed economies a real shot in the arm, which should send this stock higher. So let's check in with Tom Quinlan. He's the president and CEO of R. Donnelly & Sons. Learn more about where his company is headed after 150 years. Mr. Quinlan, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Jim. Have a seat. Thank you. you. All right. Now, I, I have to admit I'm a little um, perplexed because you're doing so many new things. But when I read the research, all anyone keeps coming back to is the debt load, the debt load, the debt load. How is it that that is the story and not the innovation? Yeah, it, it should be. I mean, we've gone public and said, hey, we want to keep our leverage ratio two and a quarter to 275 right. on a sustainable basis. Uh, there'll be times like it was this year where we've gone ahead and done the acquisition of Consolidated Graphics and Esselte, an office products company, yeah. where we've gone above that. But with the cash that we can generate, we will be back below and within those guardrails uh, you know, sometime next year. Right, so. Let's talk about that because what I always tell people when they call in is when I see a yield that is unnaturally high versus what you can get on bonds or even the higher yielders like ATT and Verizon, I do get nervous. I say it's a red flag. Why is a north of 6% yield with treasuries at 2% not a red flag for you? We've since we've gotten together as a management team in 2004. We've given almost $14 billion back in capital deployment through acquisitions, capital expenditures within the company, dividends, we've paid our bondholders, and we've bought back stock. So uh, we generate a significant amount of cash each year, somewhere between four and $500 million we've averaged, and uh, we continue to think that's gonna be strong for us in the future. Now, you're very conservative when you talk about your projections, and a lot of the projections are just, you know, look, the things will be flat, but I'm thinking, if oil comes down, you're not hurt in the interim. You're not a leveraged oil company. Right. But if oil comes down, then a guy like Klaus Kleinfeld from Alcoa or, or Dave, Cote, uh, uh, Dave Cote from Honeywell or Jim McNerney from Boeing, they're all saying we're going to see better GDP growth. Uh, Jeff Immel told me that this morning. If we do have better GDP growth, don't we use more product? We certainly do. And, and as we've evolved from 150 years, we were just a printer. Then mm -hmm. we became a print service, uh, print services company. Right. And now we're an integrated communication services provider. We go ahead and we're really making inroads in the in-store marketing, in the retail business. As oil comes down, consumers are going to have more disposable right. income that's going to be able to be applied to these things here. I think Chairman Yellen said today that housing is not going as well as you thought. Right. Housing starts to pick up all these products, all the communications. Right. The impact that we have on people's communications is significant to what they do with their customers. And I think what we've seen, too, from a print is the doorway to right. digital, is a doorway to digital, and digital is a doorway to print. And well, and in that case, you have a developing nation like China, even though it may be slowing from 7.5 to 7%, that for a company like yours, which has a lot of business in China, is still pretty great. Look, our, our history, our DNA has been able, that we've been able to do really well, put ink on paper. Right. As we go forward now, we can put liquid on substrates. And some of the things you have here... Why don't you show me, just, just quickly, because I think people just keep thinking it's the telephone pages, Tom, and it's just driving me crazy, frankly. Look, these devices, these glass here, if <laughs> we can variable digitally print this uh, in an economic, environmentally friend, friendly way, this mm -hmm. is going to be huge. I mean, th these are not going away, and we are not right. putting our head in the sand that that's going to take place. As you look at some of the in-store uh, marketing capabilities that we have here, uh, you know, the behind you, the Captain labels, Crunch, the right? sensor labels, uh, these are all items that, as you think about healthcare and sensor labels, we're not looking to say how much is your vacuum cleaner filled up right. and it tells your phone. This could tell you, hey, have you taken your medication? Where are you with, you know, your, your blood pressure? 
All of those type of things is where our Donnelly, which people don't perceive or look at us as doing, and our job is to continue to get the word out that we are different. Yeah, well, absolutely. Printing is never going to go away. No, no, it's not. All right. Well, that's really pretty much the story, and I think as long as you continue to consolidate and continue to take share, it's just going to be a terrific story. I'm, I think the yield's a real one, and the, and the growth could be there in 2015. That's Tom Quinn, the president CEO of R.R. Donnelly. Look, I know normally I'm nervous about a 6% yield. This one's got the cash flow. I'm not. They have money's back after the break.